welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Ashley, and today I have the chance to catch up with Olympic gold medalist, Bruni Surin. So you won your first gold medal in 96. What was like your Olympic experience? Since I was a, a kid, I mean, my dream was to uh, participate in the, in the Olympic. I mean, a lot of people were saying, telling me that I didn't have the, the talent, but I kept I kept training hard and everything, and I believe in my dream. So finally, in 96, when we won the, the gold medal, that was a dream, a dream come true. And today, I, I just uh, talk to the kids to say, tell them that whatever dream they have, they can they can achieve it as long as they believe in themselves and uh, and work hard. So you set the record for the fastest time for a 31 year old and a 32 year old. Yeah. So what was your secret for keeping in top shape? Eat well, uh, take good supplements, <laughs> and uh, do the proper training. I mean, this uh, this three things that's 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 the secret. And how do you think the Olympics have changed over the past decade? In the sense, do you think there's more pressure on the athletes? Because you hear so many stories now for different scandals. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's a lot of pressure. There, wa there was pressure before. And that's what I'm saying to the to the athletes. Uh, you have your own goal. Don't let uh, people or the, 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 the media or the country put extra pressure on yourself. Even if you don't uh, achieve uh, what you were hoping for, don't cheat. Some of the athletes are told not to attend the Beijing Olympics this year. What are your thoughts on that? You know, it's, it's, it's very, very, very tough and uh, I could say that it's uh, almost impossible uh, to ask uh, an athlete, okay, not participate in the, at the game because I remember uh, in my case and in the case of, I mean, all, almost all the athletes, you're training like hours per day, uh, per year. To, to go to the Olympics and for a lot of them that's going to be once in a lifetime of a chance to, to participate so I think there was boycott in the past and I think that's not the best solution the best solution is is, uh, is a dialogue I mean um, in my case if I was still an athlete today I would just go there do my best try to win a medal and make a statement I wouldn't boycott it's not worth it